I'm just gonna do the whole episode like Celine Dion. I feel so passionately. Okay. Emily at The Brain Scoop recently put out a video talking about women on YouTube and the lack of women in STEM fields on YouTube specifically. If you're not familiar with STEM fields, it's science, technology, engineering, mathematics, sort of a broad definition. This got me thinking, how many women in comic books, science fiction, are in STEM fields? And I thought really hard, I think I might have burst a blood vessel in one of my eyes. We are coming up ridiculously short on women in the STEM fields, in science fiction. Come on, there's like a gazillion dudes in, in STEM fields in comics and like these many women. So there are four or five very strong candidates for this category. You've got Dr. Allison Mann from Why the Last Man, she's a geneticist. There's Nika Timsmith from Trillium, she is a botanist. For engineering, we've got the engineer from The Authority obviously. And we've got KK from Freak Angels, who uses spare parts and refuse to just build all sorts of crazy objects. So she's not technically an engineer because she didn't get a degree because they ruined the world before she could go to college. Hmm. Does that count? So there's also Moira McTaggart, Sue Storm, and Pamela Isley all in science fields, but they kind of stop practicing in their field as soon as the big superhero event or life-changing event that happens to them occurs. So that's kind of a bummer. I mean, Reed Richards didn't stop doing all of his stuff when he became Mr. Fantastic. One of the things about this that really bothers the heck out of me is that I have racked my brain and picked the brains of various other great sources, and we haven't been able to come up with any women in science fiction, in comic books that are in the mathematics or technology field. That's pitiful. Where are all of these STEM women that us comic book lady fans are supposed to be looking up to? That these comic book men fans are supposed to be admiring? What's going on here, comics? So what can we do to support the idea that more of these fictional women should be in the STEM field of research? First, I think it's really important to support the titles that put women in these fields, that write women into these roles that are complex and human and realistic. You've probably heard me say it once, I say this all the time. When you read, you have to be a filter, not a sponge. It's really important to notice trends in the things that you're reading. It's really important to notice these things. There aren't enough STEM women in comics. Why not? Ask yourself these questions. At the end of the day, the coolest thing that you can do to support women in STEM fields in science fiction is to support real women in real STEM fields in real life. So. Go watch Emily's video over at the Brain Scoop. Go do it, yeah. I did put a fair amount of research into this. However, I am 100% sure that I forgot quite a few awesome STEM ladies in the comic book world. So, be a pal. Tell me down below who I missed. Pop on over to weird-girls.com and let us know there. A special thanks goes out to all of the Valkyries women in comic book shops all across the world now at 125 members solid for helping me do some research in the last couple of days and come up with a few extra names and background stories for comic book women in the STEM fields. Special thanks goes out to Austin Books and Comics, supporting science, technology, engineering, and mathematics ladies, and their comic book habit. And as always, be sure to like our video, share, subscribe, add us to your circles.